Keep finding those offensive rebounds coming off free throws. You get yourself in position, you keep finding the offensive rebounds off free throws. Um, I'm just doing what I can to get inside. Um, we have a free throw, we have many free throw plays that we run to try to get a uh, tip in the offensive rebound gets me minutes. Um, so I think we executed it perfectly. Do you know with their bigs you guys could kind of take them inside it looked like and they yeah. gonna probably be outside? Yeah, the game plan was to just drive them, go inside to me, like uh, guards give me a ball a lot uh, early. Um, just try to get him in foul trouble, try to get him out the game as much as possible. How important was that first rebound off the missed free throw to lay it up for you guys to just get over that hump of them taking the lead back? Um, it was very important. Um, down by... You were down three? Three, yeah. So um, I knew it wasn't, wouldn't tie the game, but I knew if I can just get it up quick, score, if we go down and play some good defense, come back and score, and then we win the game. Was there any concern? How'd you... Get, how'd you get inside there for the rebound? Um, we have a play we uh, run. One guy goes high, one guy goes low. I just pushed the guy who was guarding me out the way and grabbed it and went straight up with it. Atlanta says he owes you dinner after that last one. He owes me something, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I honestly thought he was going to make it, but I mean, hope for the best, uh, prepare for the worst. So just lucky I got it. Was there any thought to go right back up after you grabbed that rebound? <laughs> was there any thought to go right back up after you? If you think yeah, I was um, trying to get fouled, trying to get an and one, just something real quick because I knew time wasn't on, um, on our side at the time, so just grabbing to go up quick. Elite eight, special again. Yeah, very special. Um, but it doesn't mean anything if we don't make it to the final four and win the national championship. You said you're always believing this team. Is there a thought there when again Michigan makes a run? Do you feel like you guys would have a final punch? Um, yeah, obviously. Um, I knew players. We have Tyler, Dylan, big uh, shot makers at the end. I wasn't worried at the end. I was just I had to just do my job and rebound, defend. I knew we would be. I knew we would win this game. A lot of guys have had you as underdogs, kind of in the last few yeah. rounds. Rhode Island over you guys, Michigan over you guys. How nice is it to still come out on top? Um, we've I've been underdogs since I got to Oregon all my life, so. We hear the chatter. They had like the Vegas had them winning us, to, uh, beating us today. So it's it's nothing new to us. We're used to it. There's a talk of Michigan being the team of destiny with everything mm -hmm. happening. Kind of nice also to knock off another storyline there. Um, I don't know about nice knockoff story like that. Them almost like the plane crashing, but. It's very good um, to win this game. We know we knew they had a lot of momentum coming in, winning like nine, or ten games straight. So um, we wanted to come out, come out just much passion and hard as they had. How much confidence does it give this team, knowing that defensively or offensively, you haven't played two really good games yet? You still are winning. What you I'm sorry. How much confidence does it give you guys, knowing oh. offensively you haven't played well and yet you're still pulling out these games? It gives us a lot of confidence. Um, obviously, first half we didn't play that well. Second half we played a little better, but we still didn't play our best basketball. So it gives us a lot of confidence that even if we don't play our best, we can still pull out wins like this.